Hey gang, I'm working with a brand new cell phone slash camera, as you can see. Uh, this particular model has the neat uh, little dual screen. I can record the front and the back camera at the same time, which is cool. So I can do interviews and stuff and and uh, catch cats climbing across things. But uh, now let's see if it'll flip real quick. Oh, it will. Sweet! That rocks! So uh, I just wanted to give you a quick update. I'm actually working on... Uh, an LED nightlight project for uh, a friend, co-worker of my wife. And hopefully I'll get that done today or get close enough to make a, a video worthy of it. But I figured a good test for the new phone would be a short update video on the projects, uh, HVAC projects that I said I was going to get done and I've been stalling with. Um, still have the evaporator uh, coil cleaning eventually coming. I haven't even started in that. But... I am doing the filter base and uh, putting it together. So I figured I'd give you a short update, show you what I'm where I'm at with that, and then later I will have the full video with all the good stuff. Get off the table! Get off the table! What are you doing? Get off the table! Get off the table! Jeez, nervy! Is that right, nervy? So, and I gotta get used to staring with the camera way over here in the corner. I keep looking off to the side or looking at the screen and it makes me look like I'm looking off. But okay, so here we go. I have, uh, see if the light will adjust to it a little bit. And uh, it looks a lot brighter. There we go. Just have to get it adjusted a little bit. Let me back up to give you a full shot. I have the, uh, my wife's clothes uh, sweater racks. The, uh, the unit is here, is a downflow for a refresher. And this is normally the only intake right here where this, uh, this grill is. I have made changes though, uh, which I've mentioned in the past. If you'll look up there, I've cut a, a return into our master bedroom, which was not there before, and put a door there so I could get to the water heater, which is right here. So I have an additional return. But since, um, the filters are normally just sitting there, and this is on the front, so it normally pulls the air through here. But since I am making a filter base and going to be putting a filter on top, uh, basically these two filters that are just sitting on there right now will be gone, and the filter will be mounted right on top. I'm going to have to, and this is going to be totally enclosed here, I'm going to have to have another intake. So I'm going to go and uh, see about buying a new intake grill, a return grill, which I will be hanging up here and cutting out a section of the wall because this is just, uh, golly, just the, the uh, it just kicked in. So let me come over here real quick and, and grab one of the pieces that I'm using and kind of give you an example. I mean, I just, uh, it, that's how much suction we got right there. So I really don't think it'd be uh, particularly good. See, that's what's kind of what it's gonna look like when we're done here. To, uh, wouldn't be too good to block that up and just expect the air to suck around the edges and down and whatnot. So we'll give it some more uh, return up there. And actually, I'm going to do later down the line, uh, we're going to talk about a return and duct sizing and some other stuff that really doesn't get enough attention and um, for, for the text. But anyway, so that's what we're doing. I'm going to have a custom size filter, which is another video. We're part of this one. I haven't decided yet. We'll see how it goes on time. But um, we had a little fun stepping everything in and getting everything fit. There's no leaks. It's all beautiful. The coil's nice and clean. Uh, no leaks down underneath other than a little, you know, humidity. This was a little fun getting it fitted in, but you'll see that all in the video coming up. And everything is sealed and uh, wonderful. So... Um, I still need to replace the lamp, but that's down down the line. But I wanted to put a door in here. Uh, this is all sealed up pretty good over here uh, permanently, but I'm going to put a door. As you see, I've just kind of cut it, sealed the edges around. And we'll, we'll put that uh, kind of flush along the edges over here and uh, work it up there. You can see it's kind of recessed down there, but I'll talk about that later. And get this kind of taped up and sealed in with a door and uh, have a ledge for the filter, but I'll show you all that stuff later as well. That way I can get in here and access it, check the coil, clean the crap out of it. If anything gets past it in there, look for rust and uh, replace the, um, the, the light, the uh, blah, 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 the light thingy, the... <laughs> but uh, yeah, the light 
thingy. That's it. So, anyway, uh, look forward to uh, talking to you guys later and uh, staring at the camera lens and getting a few more of our projects going since uh, summer is sneaking up on us pretty quick here. Hope everyone's doing well. Take care and uh, thanks for watching. As usual, like, subscribe, uh, pass the videos around, send me $100 bills in the mail, <laughs> um, uh, whatever. So, uh, thanks again.